And so, Lord, we commend this soul into your keeping. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Poor kid. Well, I'm pretty sure the plane will never fly again. Good God! We can safely say the radio is beyond repair. God! There's 200 miles of uncharted jungle between us and civilization. God! And we've got about two weeks emergency rations. Two weeks of airline food? Oh, shit! We're all gonna die. No, we can make it. I know it's a slim chance, but it's the only one we've got. You tell them, Crombie. Certainly, Captain Kirk. Uh, Jim, if you could just give me a hand here. Certainly, Professor. Now, I've made an exact copy of the map on Jim's forehead. By my calculations, we can make it to the Lost Valley of the Udnagalabis in two days. And get the priceless golden koala. We'd be rich, filthy rich. And lost in the jungle. Maybe, but if my guess is right, the mail plane from Port Lumbago to Tumbarumba flies directly over the Lost Valley. If we can get there on time, clear a runway and signal the plane, we'll be saved. And if your guess is wrong? I know I can get us out of this. you just got to trust me. I'd like to know what makes you the leader anyway. Yeah. You've got to have a leader. There's always a leader. So why's it got to be you, you neo-fascist, imperialist reactionary? Look, young lady, I don't agree with what you say. But I'll defend to the death your right to say it. I believe in democracy. Well, let's put it to the vote then. OK, who else wants to stand for leader? Me, I... Shut up, Dalburn. Well... I guess it's unanimous then. I'm the leader. Well, I don't lead followers and I don't follow leaders. Especially not male chauvinist pigs. Oh, what the hell? Let him be leader. Let's just get going. Yeah, come on. I agree. OK, everybody follow me. But Captain Kirk... Save your breath, Crombie. You'll need it for walking. You're going the wrong way. Good work, Crombie. You're on your toes. That's the kind of team spirit that's going to pull us through. Boy, what have I let myself in for this time? With Kirk Rogers leading, I just know we're in big trouble. I met him during the war. Our whirlwind wartime romance came to an abrupt end when I realised he was a complete idiot. Our little group is ill-equipped for the trek that lies ahead, wherever that may be. Dolberg seems obsessed with the gold koala and I doubt whether Dame Zara will make the distance. She's used to a life of lapdogs and lamingtons. And then there's me. Well, I'm just keeping my fears to myself. want to sabotage the plane? Diane. Diane? But she seems like such a nice girl. I know. But have you seen what she's carrying in that bag of hers? It's an M16, but I don't think she'd use it. Maybe not, but I'd like you to keep her under surveillance all the same. Aye, aye, Captain. Don't be fooled, Jim. Remember, she's a woman. Yeah, just my type. Jim. We've still got a lot of rugged country to cover. This treacherous swamp here should prove a pretty hard slog. Listen, I've got a plan. We can leave these gumbies for dead and get the golden koala for ourselves. We'll be set. All you've got to do is hit Jim over the head and I'll get the map. Piss off, Dolburn. You're nothing but a capitalist. Oh. And these inaccessible mountains, I'm certain they're going to be very rough on the women. Maybe if we turned off here, we could take a shortcut through. This impenetrable forest here should prove pretty tough on the women too. I hope they can keep up. Yes, that is going to be a problem. Well, I suppose if we want to catch that mail plane on time, we just better move on. Why do you take all that bulldust from Kirk? 
He's my captain. You really do look up to him, don't you? Everybody at BAT looks up to Kurt. One day I'm going to be as good a pilot as he is. I see. You're going to take a crash course. Stop! Dang's iris collapsed. She says it's four o'clock and she must have a cup of coffee before we proceed. We got no time for coffee breaks. We got to move on and that's an order. I'm afraid I must insist, Captain Kirk. She's in no condition to walk. Yeah, we haven't had a rest for hours. I didn't promise this was going to be a picnic, Galburn. If anybody wants to turn back, now's your chance. Because the rest of us are moving out. Kirk's gone ahead. We don't know where he is, and with a bit of luck, we'll never see him again. The jungle is no place for a woman like you. Why were you going to Bomberapa? I was to attend the opening of the Sir Henry Worcestershire Memorial Swimming Pool in honour of my late husband. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I read about it in the papers. You're a very brave woman, Zara. <laughs> His skydiving accident must have come as a terrible blow. <laughs> Zara, Zara, dry those tears. Come on now, chin up. After all, a woman with your beauty and charm and all that money that your husband left you has everything to live for. Yes. I suppose you're right. Homer. When we get back to civilization, I'd be honored if you'd accompany me to the Explorers Club. Oh, Homer. Okay, pal, what's the story? You haven't taken your eyes off me once since Beagles crashed the plane. Haven't you ever seen a girl before? It's hard not to look at the prettiest girl in the jungle. Oh, shit, Jim, you men are all the same. Why can't any of you see beyond superficial beauty? Um, I'm sure you could look really beautiful if you tried. Don't you know anything? Here, read this. You might learn something. Don't move. Why not? What are you doing? Just don't move, Diane. Jim, what are you doing? Don't move. Boy, I've heard some crazy lines in my Shut time. Shut up and don't move. Don't come any closer, Jim. It's all right. Nobody go to the toilet. The place is crawling with redbacks. Curse this stinking jungle! <laughs> 